Welcome back to Mango Plays Witch Dew, our magical, wonderful modded Stardew Valley with a witchy theme. Let's um, pop something on the to-do list because I need... Because I need an additional thing. And that is... Uh, upgrade. Axe. Yes, that's what I've chosen. Ah, so cool. Right, let's go. Um, yeah, we're doing well. Right, we got some stuff to harvest. Requires scythe. Ooh. Okay. Um, where is my scythe? There it is. Um, let's do some scything. Wow. Speed grow. That's amazing. I need the seed maker, and then I can just put the blue clover through. <laughs> oh, that would be so cool. Okay. Um. This is speed growth, so it just makes stuff faster. Uh, seven days, six days. Let's do these ones. Yeah. Uh, bang, 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 bang. Fantastic. Okay, we got some letters. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Um, wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and 1,000 gold when you're ready for it. Robin. Thank you, Robin. Missing. I lost my favourite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing. Robin. Oh, bless you, Robin. Okay, let's drop this off. What else? Um, I need my watering can. Brilliant. Let's um, give Bella some drink because they need that. I do feel like I want to move the, the dog location okay we've got quest for robin let's go do that and then i want to upgrade my um my my, my axe that will be important um how do i get down oh no <laughs> oh yeah how much wood do i need i need 450 wood i want to grab the wood i think i do um before i do my upgrade um let's grab some more wood here okay got 271 wood Oof. not sure i'm gonna yeah i'm definitely not gonna do it today mm. all right well let, let's let's get the upgrade going then we, we'll get the upgrade and then i'll be able to cut down wood for less energy and it's just gonna be grand I went the wrong way. It's fine. We'll grab Robin's axe on the way back through. Not an issue. Hello? Hasn't anyone told you to stay away from the demon with the golden eyes? Uh, no. I brought the downfall of a republic and its princess. Stay away if you value your life. Um, okay. Sure. <laughs> right, um, upgrade tools. Copper axe. That's what I want to do. Ooh, copper trash can, that's tempting. But no, copper axe. Thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. Should be ready in a couple of days. Fantastic! Oh, Mango, you're the fourth person to check up on me today. I thought it was a goner after what happened. But I'm still alive. <laughs> I never received so many guests before, so it's kind of flattering to see how all these people care about me. Aww. Uh, Lucy Kale is scary, but he promised that he wouldn't harm me. This might sound crazy. And I was sort of panicking. I might have made a deal with him. And now he sort of lives with me under the same roof. <laughs> oh no, I think I said too much. Uh, I'll talk to you later, Mango. Thanks again for stopping by. So, um, where? Where, Clint? Very interesting. Okay. Right. So, I've started that process off. Two days until Copper Axe has finished being upgraded. So, a little bit of time away. Um, but we'll be able to, I think, once we've got the copper axe, we'll be able to cut down hardwood, right? I don't know. Unless we need iron version. I forget. We'll find out. It's not a problem. Let's do some more binning. Ooh, got loads of stuff. Oh! Ooh, it smells! <laughs> Aww. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. 
Professor Gumper? The man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big rusty old key. I agree. I agree, Jazz. That's slime? <laughs> Hi! There's something moving around in there. It's alright. I'll go investigate. Don't you worry. Yep, I agree. There is something moving around in there. <laughs> ah! Oh, all the blossom just on one side. How very interesting. Okay, now there's a bin. And there's a Robin's axe to go um, pick up, which I believe is down this way near the sewers, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Hello, Leah. How are you doing? There's actually a lot of wild food in this area if you know where to look. I, I agree. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Actually, that pretty cool. Yeah. And measure amount of money you would save. Plus, also, like, massively fresh, like, just picked out of the ground, or oh, probably the tastiest it could be. Right, no spring onions today? How rude. It's okay, though, we have Robin's axe. 250 gold. You found the lost axe, better return it to Robin. Yeah, we will do. Ah. So, yeah, the, um, 450 wood. That's going to take me... I can, can kind of get 100 a day, I think. So, what, um, another couple of days once we get our axe back. Oh, that requires a, a spinning level two. That mouse isn't back in. That's a bit of a shame because five all talked about their, their pen pal, this hat mouse. So, and hat mouse isn't there when you start a new save. So that's a little bit of a shame. But hey ho, um, nothing can be perfect. Oh, but all this forage is pretty darn perfect. Let's grab this. We're going to make oodles of money, guys. Um, oh, yeah, I've got... I've got stuff to be getting for the druid as well. Hmm, maybe I should visit Cold Point Farm today. Or maybe like to... <gasps> Mr. Ginger! Hello! Me... Miss Penny said that we should still go to school. I'm a little scared, but Vincent said he would protect me from that bad guy. Oh, you're talking about Le Lucy. Right, okay, yep. Yeah. Fair dues, fair dues. Um, I'm kind of loving how everyone's, like, the talk topics. Oh, I can't, I can't. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's fine, we can squeeze through, get these, grab that, and away we go. Yeah, I am kind of really loving how well it's sort of, like, people continuing talking about stuff. I think it's fantastic. Okay, let's go. Oh, what, what? Let's go to the mountains. And then I'm going to go do some fishing for money. Because money would be rather nice. We we need at least 20 grand. Um, probably more. Because we need to get seeds and stuff. Um, oh, have I said hello to Granny yet? Granny! I'm still shaking. I felt that evil presence before. Back when I was a little girl. I never thought I would see it again. The awful demon that destroyed my town. No! Oh, George. What's going to happen to us? Oh. Yeah, I'm loving all of the, like, the talk and the continued discussion. Hello, little Kit Kit. He stares right for you. What's on his mind? Nothing. Probably not a thing. Foxy, love ya. You've got the most beautiful eyes. Okay, um... It's gonna rain tomorrow. It would have been a good day to actually get the uh, watering can upgraded. I hope I picked the axe. I may have made a mistake, but hey. Which is a good boss. But I mean, I have lots of employers. It's a busy life. Oh, bless you. Alright, let's head on up. Oh, she's happily on her way. What crimes will she commit? <laughs> Roswell, you're so cute. Okay. Who else? Oh yeah, you're you're pregnant, aren't you? Got your name though. Ashida. There's children in the valley. Yet Lewis is okay with keeping that demon? Frankly, it's disgusting. Is there nothing he can do about it? 
Uh, probably not. Robin, I have your axe. Uh, let's give you that. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Thank you. You're welcome. And we got 250 gold. Honestly, not worth the journey. <laughs> well, probably worth the improvement to friendship, but other than that, not really worth it. Oh, I didn't even check. We'll do that. That foraging location down, um, down by the spring onions. Yeah, I will do some selling for my forage and then we'll go check. Because that will help us with the exotic thing. And then I think this is a shortcut, yeah, to get us to the other side of this zone. Very nice. How you doing, Bella? You all right? Okay, um, stashed chest. So I've got a couple of bits to sell. Wild strawberry. Nice. Okay. Have I got a fun off room? Let's go check if there is um, that foraging place. Because getting all of those fruit again would be lovely. No, it's not here. So they move around then. It's so interesting. What's this? What's this? Only a master of the five ways may enter. What five ways? Hmm. Actually, this reminds me. Can I... Can I change... Pop keys? Um... F. Okay. Search key F3... No, apparently not. So, yeah, basically I'm trying to find the Druid stuff. Stardew Druid. Quest journals is K. Herbalism journals O. All of these are like, probably... Hmm. Hmm. What key is probably a good key? This one, maybe? Um, this one? Relics journal, herbalism journal, reverse journal, reverse the order in which the start of journey entries are displayed. Um, okay. Auto progress, automatic progress, next stage of the quest line after loading or starting a new day. No, don't want that. Okay, save and close. So, ah, Stardew Valley Druid, Stardew Druid, even. Here we go. Grandpa's note. There's a note stuck to Grandpa's old scythe. For the new farmer, before my forefathers came to the valley, the secluded grove behind the farm was a frequent meeting ground for a circle of druids. An eeriness hangs over the place, so I kept my father's tradition of leaving it well enough alone. Perhaps you should too. Investigate the secluded grove and old farm cave. Press one of mouse X1, mouse X2, V, left shoulder to cast a right at the quest icon. <laughs> What's this button? Oh, that's... Hmm. Okay. Bit concerned. Because... What's this button? I guess V might work. So, pop the carry. Open Reliquary. Open Grimoire. Okay. So, where is this? Secluded Grove in Old Farm Cave. Hmm. Kind of farm. Okay. I'm a little bit concerned because I'm not using a standard farm map. So, yeah. Let's go see if it will work in the standard cave. Maybe? I mean, I want to be a druid. I want to be a witch. I want I want all the witchy goodness, okay? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the normal cave. Whoa. Alright, we're coming back here in the daytime, right? Oh, no! Unknown voice, farmer! Yes? Farmer. You come at last. I'm in the ceiling. 
Stand here and perform the right. As the first farmer did long ago. Okay. Oh, um, with a tool selected. B. Whoa. Well done. Thank you. The forgotten effigy. So a successor appears. I am the effigy crafted by the first farmer, sustained by the old powers and bored. Who stuck you in the ceiling? I inherited this plot from my grandfather. His notes didn't say anything about magic scarecrow. Say nothing. Who stuck you in the ceiling? Oh my god, the art is so cool. It's so pretty. One of the ley lines of the valley seems through the... What? One of the ley lines of the valley seems through the bedrock of this cavern. This is where I spent many of your centuries in stasis, listening to the energies of... It's probably seeps through. Um, so, in stasis, listen to the energies of the wheel, leaving periodically to witness the change of seasons. The last time I ventured out, your predecessor had already departed this plane. I found the farm abandoned, the mining town diminished. Now strange shadows stalk the sacred spaces, and it has not been safe for me to leave this refuge. The Forgotten Effigy, well done. Thank you! The Forgotten Effigy, the valley didn't always seem so inhospitable. The farmers were once aligned with the other world. They formed a circle of druids. I'd love to know more about the traditions of my forebears. I want to be like the farmers of old and form a circle. I want to know more. Very well. Meet me in the grove outside and we will test your aptitude for the other world. Okay. Oh, oh I wanted to come... Grandfather's note quest completed. Okay, we'll come back to this tomorrow when it's daytime. Right? That's so cool! So yeah, um... Button conflicts, causing issues. But hey, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, let's go to bed. I don't know what I should or shouldn't do. I probably should sell some stuff. Maybe I should have gone fishing. Oh well. Being a druid is much more um. Into oh, that didn't give me anything. Oh, I got a recycling machine, didn't I? Oh, right. I need to look at the recycling machine recipe. Day twelve of spring. We'll do that. The bookseller is in town today. Oh, okay. What's that about? I think that's 1.6 vanilla content. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so it's raining today. Not bad. Um, let's drop off stuff. Okay. Um, to organise this. I have a feeling like there's something in here that I want... Oh yeah, I want to see what the recycling machine costs to make. We need an iron bar for that. So once we've got an iron bar, we'll be able to recycle stuff. Okay. Dear Mango, tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. Uh, I'd be fine missing it, to be brutally honest, but fair enough. How are we doing? We're all doing quite good there. Okay, let's um head into the cave. And speak to the druid. Okay, so let's um, open the class book. So that's been completed. Ah. So that's maybe why you change, you have reverse order option. Okay. It looks so cool. Oh. I like it. I like it a lot. The standing stones to the west of here were important to the old circle of druids. Stand before them and pay homage to the two kings by performing the rite as you did before. If you truly possess a connection to the other world, then the latent energies there will be drawn to you. New quests received. Fantastic. It's a bit of a shame that you're using a, a brand new like quest book. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, something treads the old paths. It's me. I am mortal. Size of the earth. What say you, father? I seek the blessing of the two kings to reform the circle of druids. Okay, whoever's behind the rock, come on out. No, man, I believe I am here. Whispers on the wind. Demonics remain dormant, their realm untended. Who are you to claim the inheritance of the broken circle? The valley is my home now. I want to care for and protect it. Or I'm being friendly and playing along with your little game. Just don't pull down my pants or anything. No, nope, the valley is my home. 
and I want to care for and protect it. Rustling in the woodland. It is not an easy path, the one tread by a squire of the two kings. Are you ready to serve? I will serve the sleeping monarchs like the druids of yore. Serve tea? Tennis ball? <laughs> no, serving. I'm, I'm here. Oh, I missed it. Arise, arise, arise. So we completed it. We got a forest sword. You received a forest sword. I'm so excited. What's this up here? Right of the wield. Click to open journal. <gasps> oh, I really hope that stays because that's nice and easy. So we completed this one. And you can read what you chose and stuff. I think. Um, 150 gold as well. In times past, the King of Oaks and the King of Holly would war upon the Equinox. Their warring would conclude for the sake of a new life in spring. When need arose, they lent their strength to a conflict from which neither could fully recover. They rest now, dormant. May those awake guard the change of seasons. Effigy, last of the circle. The first farmer was blessed by the Elderborn, the monarchs of the valley, to cultivate and protect this special land. He and the circle elders taught me their techniques and stories that I might be a repository of tradition for future generations of the circle. Though my former mentors long gone, I remain because the power of the elders remain. But now, effigy last of the circle. Probably this dude, right? <gasps> this is so cool. Oops, what, what was that? So this... Oh, no, I don't want to skip class. Uh, let's click it. This is... Oh, you can replay them? Okay, I get why the journal's different, because this has got some very interesting changes. So we've completed these two. So lesson one, clearance. I've been blessed by the energies of the wheel. I can practice my newfound ability by clearing weeds and twigs from overgrown spaces. Perform right of the wheel, clearance 100 times. Check the effects page L for details. Oh. And the opportunity opportunity to augment my natural abilities tonics and potions brewed in the druidic tradition. Check the herbal herbalism bench in the sacred grove to learn how to brew basic potions. <gasps> okay, I'm sorry. This, this is just so cool! Hello! So you've returned as a squire of the two kings. That's some really weird voices. Something touched me. I'm okay. So it's real the power of the druids. I have a sword shaped like a branch. It's a stick of power. So it, it is real the power of the druids. The energies of the world are unsettling, and dumb as rocks. Seek them out again if you would like to dedicate a different implement to the work of the kings. Oh, whoa! Okay, now I understand why I got a sword, because I clicked with the sword. No, that is, that is so cool. Look at this. Made powerful by forest magic. It's 8 to 18, 2 speed, 1 defense. That's a fantastic sword. I'm out. Let's um, let's check this clearing thing because I'm I'm fine with that. So L, no. Uh, that's not what I meant. Hmm. In conflicts and key buttons. This is such a shame. Okay, so relics journal is L. Um, what am I gonna do? Can I do a combo? I can. Okay. Um. Then herbalism journal. I don't know. Shift H. <laughs> Save and close. So. Was that? That. Nope. Nope. Combo don't work. No, that's not what that I want. Uh huh. Nope. That one's not coming up. So what, what did it say? Let's have a look. Rights of the Druids. No, clearance. Um, when I inherited the farm from my grandfather, it became almost completely overrun with thicket. The effigy has shown me how, way, how to clear a way for new growth. Right of the wield would explode nearby weeds, twigs, and artifacts for spots. Marsh, will also explode gem nodes and breakable containers. Maybe I haven't actually been shown. Um, so let's go back and talk to the, the, the effigy again. Hello. Managed to retrieve an old mortar and pestle. Favourite tool of your forebearers in the circle. Um, 
It is in remarkable condition. I left it on the bench on the southern extent of the grove. Ah. Good. You are now a subject of the two kingdoms and bear authority of the weed and the twig. Use this new power to drive out decay and detrit uh, detritus. Return tomorrow for another lesson. New lesson received. Okay. Um, open quest. Open grimoire. Okay. When I perform right, um, no, I don't think that's right, to clearance. I still don't know how to do this. Check the effects page L for details. That doesn't work. Ah, mouse left. Or C. So is it when I'm holding the... Oh, it's just a sword, as I thought. Hmm. An old stone bench used by the old druids for crafting herbal res remedies. Inventory, store and review potion ingredients. The bowl beckons you reach out tentatively and touches remove your fingertip. Your fingertip chases the smoothened edge. The bowl seems pleased, as if the place reflected in the shiny inner surface is happier than your own. Grab your palms around the curvature of the bowl. Use a firm grip to grasp the mortar. It's so strong, your face goes in the bowl. Ah, uh, let's, let's do that. The Druid tradition quest complete. The soft sound of contentment fills your ear. You're startled. You look back and forth, but find no other creature but yourself at the stone table. Even stranger. You have acquired the forgotten knowledge of herbalism. With all uh, the craft's secrets of the Druids that stood before this bowl in ages past. With a bit of amateur effort, three stoppered flasks, each with a small amount of herbal remedy, dangle from your belt. The bowl is pleased. Have a listen journal unlocked. You received the circle mortar and pestle. You are now able to brew basic potions. Check potions journal to view further details. Okay. So this one? Aha! Um, okay. Like bark root tea with more bark and root to boot. Um, sap and slime. Right damage and success rate. Boost charge ups. Boost movement speed. Oh, that one seems cool. Um, how many things do I need for it? That seems quite a lot of items for one potion. Anyway, let's go out. Um, yeah, I don't fully... Maybe I'm, I need to do it with different tools. I'm not fully understanding... How to do clearance. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. I, I've looked in all of the mod options. Um, and yeah, it doesn't seem obvious to me, unfortunately. Um, oh, when I perform a rite once practiced by the Valley Druids, feel the essence of the world being drawn under me with each step. Press and or hold the right button to cast a rite. Oh, maybe that's what I need to do. Let's, um, try that. Ah, I worked it out! That's so cool! Okay, and that should drain stamina, I think. Um, let's try it again. Because it seems unfair if it doesn't. Wow! I don't need any tools, I've got magic! <laughs> so the button I'm pressing is V, which is button I used in in there. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, right. Um, technically, could just go around and clear all the debris from the farm. This is like using no energy, and I'm very confused about that. Um, I'm getting just resources back, which is just lovely. It's a huge range as well. Like, massive. Yeah, maybe, um, let's check. Uh, Stargy Druid. So, um, mod difficulty. Um, no. Stop consumer, I don't know what that's about. Cultivate behavior. Um, meteor behavior. There's meteors. Uh, cardinal targeting. Oh, okay. 
cast anywhere. It disables the map based cast restriction. Hmm. Okay. Um doesn't say. I thought it said that it would consume our stamina. Maybe it said him in, in the in the thingy. Hmm. You related the fact. So Druid level, number of quests completed out of five, indicator. Decorative right circle cursor and HUD buff icon should indicate the currently selected right, which can vary due to weapon achievement progress and pa uh, patron serve. Patron. Patron. I don't know. A worldly connection. Some of the game maps, mostly interiors, have effect restrictions that can be disabled in the config. Quest replay. Event type quest can be replayed after they're completed. Controls for replay are found on quest pages in the quest journal. Special rewards are available for some replayed quests. Okay. So because this is showing, that means that when I press my right button, it is basically the clearing button. Which is... Oh. SM1 clearance 50 quests complete. And we got mixed flower seeds. What's that? Is that vanilla? It's, no, it's part of the honeybee apiary. I love it. Okay. Um, so, apparently, this is done? No. I don't think it is. Let's continue. I don't mind collecting goodies from around my farm. Wow. I just got an ancient seed. I mean, makes sense. We, we, we are using druidic powers. Wizard. I finally have come into my witchy own. Uh, more seeds and rocks. This is amazing. I thought I weren't going to get any more wood today. But no, here we go. Just collecting. Level up. I got... I get experience in mining from this. Okay. <laughs> that is just amazing. Oh dear. Right, let's um, continue clearing. I love it. I wonder what other spells we're going to get. This one honestly is very helpful. Can you... Can I go into the mines with this? We need to go test that, don't we? Okay, let's um go back towards the house. Um, obviously using my clearing thing as I go. Um, and we will what, grab... No, we'll just go straight up to the mines. Drop off some bits, obviously. And then, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how easy that is. We also got loads of spring seeds. Like, yeah, wow. Nearly 14 mixed seeds as well. We got these geodes, more wood. <gasps> oh, yeah. No, I don't have the money. Ah, rats. Let's drop that off as well. Um, right. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I really want to go fishing to earn money, but eh. We're in the second day anyway. I can't get the, the house upgrade order today. So we might as well go test the druidic powers in the mine. Like, that's cool. Can I do it here? <laughs> I can leave my hoe at home. <laughs> this is so good for um, bad inventory mango. Oh, I love it. Right, have we got a quest? No, not today. Let's go up. Oh, there's a bookseller in town. Was that yesterday or today? Uh, Travelling Merchant is in town. Although they're not in town, are they? I don't recall if that was today or yesterday. I've been fiddling with my druid settings and it's confused my brain. I do want to see what this bookseller is about. Hello? Hello? Patrice? Ah, the egg festival. Hope to see you there, Mango. Yeah, and you, lovely. Do you talk more? No. So nice to see Patrice, because I really... 
um, really wanted to meet them in previous sea scarf and um, but I I saw that it w wasn't supported anymore. What's this? Hello. But yeah, they're, they're in the core, I think. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear I saw something outside my house last night. It was like a shadow, and when I woke up the next day, there was fruit left on my doorstep. Okay. Wonder what it was. So do I. What's this? So over this way, there's a balloon. Um. Where? I don't know. I wonder if that sign's always been there and I just haven't paid attention to it. It's like pointing to Joja. You know what? I really love the animation of, um, I forgot your name, Pires, uh, using the, the stick. Omri asked me today if I'd ever consider remarrying. I don't know if I would, honestly. I'm not so interested in romance or anything that may come with it. I would love a close friend, though. Do you know what? That is awesome, and I fully support you on that. It's really nice to see um, the representation as well of Gaia. Just fantastic. Right, where am I going? Oh, yeah, mining with my druid skill and see what happens. Ah, right, let's go do some binning because we want to increase that skill again. Let's have a look. Uh, skills. Is this the five? No, six. Hmm. Does it tell me how far through? No. Okay. Um, yeah, because there was a door by the spring onions that kind of indicated something cool. Alright, let's go in. Level 10. Next level. I mean, we've got... Oh. No. I mean, that makes sense. Um, but that would have been cool. Alright, let's go back. Because, yeah, I don't need... I mean, I do need, but I don't need... You know what I mean. I, I don't feel like the need for mining today. Um, we got our tool ready, kind of. It's, 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 it's being made. We'll be ready tomorrow. But uh, that will help us get... The, I've already got the wood because of the druid spell. So, yeah. Oh, I can take it off. Hey! <laughs> Foxy licks your shoe and then tries to take a bite out of it. He seems pretty hungry. Oh, can I feed you? Did you see that demon? His arms were twice as big as mine. Not to brag, but I have a good eye for these kinds of things. I don't know what he does, but his work really shows. Um... Yeah, what is Boxy's favourite food? You like bug meat? I don't have it on me. I can bring you bug meat. Oh. Wow, it's so full. This rain. You just invited her to stay? Were you even considering to ask me first? Who's Valerie? Yeah, it's real bad. I'm sorry, who's Alan? These two, maybe? You know how I get around Mother. It's hard telling her no. Aww. And I know you two have some hang-ups, but she's still our mother, right? Uh I know. I just want to say in who is living with me. I don't have an extra room. Where is she going to sleep? Oh, bless. You just have to make a place in the living room. Who's Desiree? What? Whoa. Using your crystal ball again, Mother? Oh, this is magical, people. Of course, how else would I check on my children? I don't know, maybe using a phone? <laughs> Rude little girl. Come on, it's been a long time, right? Let's catch her. Ah. Mm. This one is an interesting one because... I, I don't know who needs to hear this. It is massively important to realise that blood relation is not necessarily your family. Um, it's obviously down to each individual person. Um, many people have wonderful relationship with their biological family and, and it's a fantastic and it is a giving and receiving 
type of relationship between two parties. There are many, many um, families, unfortunately, where it just doesn't work that way. And sometimes you do need to just go, yeah, all right, I'm related to these people, but they're not my family. My family is who I make and who I decide. And family can be people you're not related to. It can be people, someone, your partner that you end up marrying or um, who just be your best friends. And yeah, it's very important to know. There is also the other side of my brain, which is why I um and ah about this type of stuff, because you do need to give um, everyone, I think, in the world um, a little bit of rope, a little bit of understanding, a little bit of... Um, uh, room to make error um they they we're all human we all make mistakes and there's all aspects of every person i think that's um not great anyway i've just learned powers so i'm happy to be rude back <laughs> honestly you're a bit rude yourself hey i appreciate it but don't talk to my mom that way <laughs> we don't even know your name do you know what i i, I fair play mm. i didn't quite catch that dear your backwards drool is just far too thick <laughs> Which drool. Excuse me, I can use the RP. I shall meet you both at home. I'll begin setting up in the living room. Oh, God, so I better get home before she messes up everything. Where is your home? What mod are you from? This is so cool. Oh, no, this is going to be bad. Yeah, you should have a, told, I think it's your sister, um, long before the day your mother turns up. And, and B, it should have been a... a joint decision right realistically especially if it's um your sister's home not yours what a tense family gathering indeed ah welcome Woohoo! okay so is this late enough yet 10 p.m uh, right let's talk to pam what a dangerous world we live in kid um okay hey gus give me an pint you're strongest hello gus had to clean out some gunk from my trash this morning. Bogged it up and called it a day. Bogged it up. In all my years, I've never had a customer as daunting as that demon. Oh, I know what junk that is. That was Sterling's vomit. Right, cool. Um, in all my years, I've never had a customer as daunting as that demon. But some things just never change. No matter what life throws at you, a warm plate of food with some cold beer always helps. Cold cider for me, but yeah, I get your point. Business has been really good tonight, I'm pleased. Yeah, I bet. It's Friday. I'm worried about Clint. I visited him earlier, but he looked like there was something on his mind. Poor guy. I wish there was something I could do to make him feel better. Um, I'm sure there is, Emily. But, you know, I'm not going to give you any pointers. Maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. Something spicy. Yeah, surely, yeah. It's interesting who talks about, like, the various events and who doesn't. <laughs> ah, I sense you've been spending some time in the old community centre. It's good to know someone's taking care of the place. Thank you. Good evening. It's nice to see you socialising with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see what the latest news is. Indeed. Hey, Willie. Have you heard of the tale of the Golden Eye Demon? Uh, tell me more. I need a little warm up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. Ah, uh, that's the end of it, apparently. Uh, is he gone yet? We received a mighty influx of visitors, but they're all scared of that demon. A tablespoon of honey every day, along with all milk diet, make good remedies for hy hysteria. Okay. Seems like you've got a touch of the hysteria as well. You seemed worried. Festivals weren't really a thing where I'm from, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Aww. Farmer, you're helping rebuild the community centre? That's so wonderful, I could just kiss you. I'll be sure to try and help as best as I can. Mira and Henry surely will too. These are such exciting news. Henry's such a stiff, but I finally got him to accompany me to the saloon. Should you go say hi? I'm sure he'd like you. You should ask him to dance if you dare. I bet you he'll get red. Where is he? Hmm. This weather makes me thirsty. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, Nikolai's hanging out with the teenagers in here. I love it. I'm not supposed to have beer because it makes me feel sick. But wine is good. Doesn't upset my stomach. Fair enough. I'm not supposed to... Oh, you're saying the same thing. Uh, oh, that's where I can get a Jojo Cola, of course. Vincent keeps asking if he can sleep in my room. He's afraid that the big bad demon might appear under his bed. Mum used to read us bedtime stories about demons eating naughty kids at night. <laughs> I thought it was just a fairy tale. Ah, uh, nothing like a nice cold Jojo Cola on a sopping wet day, huh? Uh, no, I go for a hot 
Poppy and said, mate. I don't know why, but my body just wouldn't move when that big scary guy appeared out of nowhere. Don't tell anyone, but I snuck into the old community centre last night. I think it's haunted. I won't tell anyone. I knew something was up when I saw Morris waving that around that artifact. That blacksmith might have saved us all. Do you know what, Sebastian? That's a very good point. Very valid. I love it. Alright, let's go back home. Um. Oh, who are you? Ah! I'm looking forward to tomorrow. How are you? I, I am too. With the egg festival going on, there's sure to be some darn good food. I should be able to meet everyone finally. Let's have a look. How many are we at? 51 out of 87. <laughs> I think some of that is because I couldn't quite get to Zuzu City because the trip was so long. But um, also I think some of that is I just haven't found people yet. There is so... Um, so Every area is huge is basically what I'm trying to say. And I need to move fast. Right, let's see how... Oh, that is so much better. Uh, add to existing stacks. Okay, apparently... Oh, it's full... Oh, it's full. This is not good news. Ah, I'll be fine. Okay, uh, throw that in there. Now. Uh, do I want to continue sort of like clearing the debris away? I mean, it makes sense because that way I can um, just move around easier. And we have a nice sword. For um, taking on our new enemies. It's not the best sword, but it's definitely better than the one we had, right? I feel like I lucked out with that. Um, for sure. I definitely feel like there should be some... Like... Like mana bar or something. I mean, I've installed mana bar for Oz Benici, I think is the mod's name. Not that I know how to activate it yet. Um, which is basically um, a, another magic mod that we have. So, yeah, it would be nice if it kind of hooked into the same thing or, or something slightly different. Because I don't know, I feel that this, I am cheesing it, I'm using it, it's in, it's in my mod. Um, but it is. it does feel a bit cheesy that technically I could chop down trees and then just wander around doing this and not have any energy issues. So I don't know. Uh, something there. Or oh, it's kind of nice to use underneath the like trees because I can't see anything. I can see some bits, but a lot of it I can't see. So yeah, just come along, hit, hit your clear button and, and it, it's kind of nice. I really like it, actually. Oh, it's going to be so fantastic when we get our other um, spell mods going. We can do more spells and... Oh, it's really... I, I'm very impressed with this. Like, the whole... Quest. Oh, we completed it. Did we complete it? Hang on. Lesson one. Yeah. So... I want my 600 gold, please. Do I go talk to him? Hello. Um, the effort successor, remember to retain discipline in your training and visit me tomorrow for new instruction. Tell me more about the Circle Druids. Our traditions are etched into the bedrock of the valley. What role do the two kings play? I want to know more about the first farmer. Uh, let's tell me about the first farmer. The first farmer was blessed by the Elder Ball, the monarchs of the valley, to cultivate and protect this special land. He and the Circle Elders taught me their techniques and stories. That I might be a repository of tradition for future generations of the Circle. Though my former mentor's long gone, I remain because the power of the Elders remain for now. So you're basically like a kind of very interesting answer machine type thing. Um, you just like are able to hold that information. Are you really not going to ah. accept my goods? There we go. Thank you. Ah, let's go to. Oh, Bella, I'm sorry. Let's go to bed. Yeah.
Hey, level two mining. We got a dwarven gem polis polisher and staircase recipe. What's a dwarven gem polisher? And we got 50 gold. I did so well. <laughs> ah, that is. Oh, I'm just so, so excited that we got a little bit of our magic coming in. Apart from obviously the way we look and obviously the, the wonderful art that we got going on. But yeah, just having actual magic being able to be done is just super darn cool. Um, yeah, that's where I'm going to be ending today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. It really does help out the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of Stardew Druid. Um, if you know how I can get the Ars Benici, I think that's the correct pronunciation, um, mod working so I can get working on that skill as well. I'll be so excited. Um, but yeah, I I did struggle with the settings. Um, that isn't Stardew um, Druid's fault as far as I can work out. It's just I have so many mods, so there was so many keybind conflicts. And as I said, Unfortunately, keybinds aren't handled very well by Stardew at this point in time. Maybe some point in the future, maybe there is a mod already out there that does it. I don't know. Uh, but that's enough of me yattering on. I, as I said, um, I do hope you enjoyed. If you liked, no, I've already asked you that. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that amazing stuff you guys do. And of course, a huge and very special thank you to my wonderful Patreons, whose names are scrolling across the screen as I speak. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.